Hey guys, welcome to the channel Scuba Travel and Adventure Thomas here. This video is a highlight from our trip last year in 2022, end of June, uh, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, down to Utah and Moab area. Basically, it was an epic trip, one of the best trips uh, we ever took, and it was our second time down south in Utah in a Moab area. First time, obviously, we didn't get enough riding. Second time, I say again, not enough riding. Uh, we will definitely probably head back there at some point, but not this year. The reason for that is the sceneries and the national park in Utah are one of the kind. It's an experience of the lifetime to ride the dirt roads in uh, this area. Uh, we had a blast on this trip. We got stuck in a canyon uh, in a heavy rainstorm. But uh, basically this video is a long form that I have released uh, the episodes last year between July and November. Back then I have released every episode from each day. So that's more detailed coverage. And this video is pretty much just the highlight of the whole trip from the start where we left Calgary back to Utah and again back to Canada. If you are new on this channel and you haven't watched uh, my previous release of this trip, this is something that you may like. Uh, if you do like it, don't forget to hit the like button and hit the notification bell. This way you get notified when I release uh, future content similar to this. At the same time, uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. So let's jump into this video. Good morning, internet. It is Saturday morning, seven o'clock, and it is June 17. It's time for our yearly adventure. I'm just heading out, uh, leaving the house right now and heading to meet up with all my friends. So we made it to Nanton, meeting everybody. The boys are right there, having a first coffee before we start heading down to the border. The bikes are all packed up, ready to go. Everybody's ready. But those are the bikes that are heading on the trip. The rain stopped and we have a blue sky, bonus. The boys are happy. We'll be more, more happy after we cross the border. Absolute uh, mo. That's the biggest challenge of today. Yeah. Walk down. <laughs> Robert. Robert. So we are approaching the border. Okay, we have a lineup. All right, guys, so we made it across the border and we are the first stop at Duty Free, close to still to Canadian side, but that means we're closer to Utah. The boys are taking a quick break before heading back on the road. So we made it to Montana, but we separated at the border because the boys took a different route and they'll meet us uh, uh, in Utah, near Moab, uh, in a day or two. We're gonna head straight down towards Salt Lake City uh, with Mariusz, and then we meet together. Just had a good meal, fried chicken, a couple of potato wedges, and we're good for another till the evening now. Uh, we will have to look for a campground uh, probably in about uh, four or five o'clock, I would say maybe even six. Uh, depends how far we will be able to get to today. Uh, we're not gonna push it, uh, we have a lot of time. Mm -hmm. 
we just went through the crazy hail unfortunately I was too busy holding on to my bike because the wind was uh, so strong I thought it's for a minute it was a tornado uh, and always uh, whenever you want to film it the camera is not on of course but now we just got over it I'm soaked with my uh, waterproof uh, jacket and pants all the zippers were open and it, it caught us like all of a sudden and got dark again So it's 6.30 right now and we will be just leaving Helena and heading towards Butte and hoping to find a campground. Alright, so we have a, found the campground for a night. It's a recreational site in Montana. Guess what? It's even free. So we didn't have to look too long this time. Here we are. We made it to the campsite. I have my tent already set up. He's still setting up his. only a few people here so it's not overcrowded just perfect we are about half an hour south of Helena a lot of people with dirt bikes and quads all right guys another day Montana, quick coffee at City Brew Cafe, something similar to Starbucks, so, and they have the same names for coffee, Grande, Po, and so on. And uh, from here, we're be heading towards Salt Lake City and hoping to get to Moab sometime today. And this morning, uh, the sleep was good. Uh, the temperature didn't drop too far down it was i think the coldest was at nine, nine degrees celsius which is quite good had a great sleep uh, we went actually quite early to bed uh, we put 700 kilometers yesterday and today probably it's gonna be about the same so that's quite a bit and especially that we caught that uh, heavy rain hail uh, by the end of the day before we hit um, Great Falls. Just drove a few miles south from Butte on I-15 and the scenery is changing quite drastically here. It's a little bit different uh, landscape. Uh, it starts to look more deserty. Got a sign of Idaho. Uh, we decided to make a little loop and go through Craters of the Moon National Now Monument. So we just got off uh, Interstate 15 South and uh, we are heading towards Craters of the Moon and we have about uh, 96 miles or less now. It's gonna be more scenic. following the mountain range here on my on my right and uh, we have another 45 miles to go whoa that's expensive 529 man but as you see here on the left side and a little bit on the right um, you can actually see the volcanic uh, field filled with lava that's overgrown with all the cactus and whatever trees are those. So 
but there we are that's the area creators of the moon we have arrived but it, it is super windy We're getting back closer to I-15 and Idaho Falls. So again, uh, plans are changing. Uh, I don't think we will make it to Moab today. That's not even possible. Uh, 427 miles left after we did the detour for Craters of the Moon. So we are back on I-15, just uh, passing through Pocatello. We'll stop by fill up the bikes one more time today so they're ready for to go for tomorrow and then it's gonna be in search of the campground but if you see what's above me it looks quite dark hopefully we're not gonna get caught in a, a rain or something like that I'm hoping for the best because it doesn't look pretty Now we're in search of the campground. We got just got off the I-15. And end of the day we're gonna still have some trail to ride. So that will be it for today and today's ride long long day i'm waiting for my friend uh, he got lost me somewhere i'm not sure he also had it in gps but i guess he went he made a wrong turn somewhere i don't know where oh yeah in the morning having the first cup of coffee just woke up it's like only five degrees Celsius it's not warm the night was quite cold actually I don't know how cold it got at night but it was chilly even in a tent and sleeping bag and liner but anyways so we're starting day three of the adventure towards Moab uh, we are just probably about 150 miles uh, north of Salt Lake City and once we have breakfast and pack up everything, we'll head back on the road. And uh, well, the plan is to get to Moab today. Even though it's crispy in the morning but I found a beautiful spot on this campground just uh, behind our um, site where we set up the tent so that was time to wash myself a bit it's uh, eight o'clock uh, and it's still cold my friend is still sleeping he has a problem to wake up always but uh, not much longer because uh, I'm gonna have to get him up because we have to go
<laughs> and it's time to rock and roll it's a super late start it's 10 o'clock and I woke up at uh, 6 30 my body here takes forever but that will end today today was the last time that he was sleeping that long the views are just stunning here like look at that rolling hills that's a uh, Highway 38 West, uh, heading out of uh, I-15. So we just got off uh, I-15 uh, to number 6 East, another 181 miles to go. Ah, that's a beautiful scenery, now it begins. Wow, wow, good thing that we have a nice weather coming through here, the, look at this, this is just something. Check this out! That looks so cool! And that's the reason why we like Utah. I think there's some kind of a dam on the bottom. That took him a while to do this thing. Holy! Hey guys, we almost there! It took us almost three days to get here from Calgary, but we are about 70 miles from Moab now. And the horizon is starting to look spectacular. It's, the views here are just stunning. It's like never enough, never enough. We're approaching Moab area. It's exactly 29 miles left to go to Moab, but uh, we will camp out and pitch the tents most likely before um, Canyonlands and Archers National Park. So it has been a freaking long day. I'm exhausted, but we made it uh, three days. Uh, from Calgary. That looks like it's the right location for tonight to set the tents. We're just gonna drive right a little bit back on the dirt road and go a little bit further away from the highway as this is the main highway going to Moab. So that's the plan and uh, the rest of the group is coming up right now. 
can't even look through up the sun. It's crazy. Today is a day four of our trip and we are just in front of Moab as we arrived uh, last night and the plan for today is uh, just to head out to Canyonlands and uh, explore the Potash Shaffer route and also some other stuff uh, uh, just uh, in that area. The guys are sleeping still except for Bogdan, he's the only one that woke up. Arnold, Arnold! Flex? You wanna take a look? Yeah, baby! Chinese <laughs> Almost packed up, not quite. Just hang up the onions. So, we're departuring. It's uh, shortly after 9 o'clock. Everybody's finally ready and the day begins. We're finally approaching Moab. So unfortunately we didn't get in, we didn't get the permit today for White Rim Trail and Shafar Trail. But what we'll do, we'll do the Canyon Lands and the Potash Road after that. And it's, uh, yeah, it took us almost two hours at the visitor center to square out everything for camping for tomorrow night at, uh, on the White Rim Trail. And that's gonna happen tomorrow, unfortunately not today. Today we're just being teased by it.
at this point we're wrapping up uh, Canyonlands. We did a little bit of exploring here. It was great, but uh, it's hot. Uh, right now, uh, 32 degrees Celsius, and it is uh, what time do we have here? 3:30 almost. So it's uh, scor scorching hot. I'm riding in my uh, t-shirt and uh, what's up next uh, today we will head out on potash road that heads out from uh, here from canyonlands down to moab and uh, once we get to moab we're gonna do stock up a little bit of groceries for the night and we're entering the shaffer trail now the fun begins at this moment Wow, what a view!
So that's the conclusion for the day. We just had a <laughs> shower and swim in this river. We're not sure if it's a Green River yet or Colorado River. I've got to check out the map. And uh, we had a blast on a potash road uh, going from Canyonlands to Moab. And other than that, this is it for today. Just gonna go out to town, have a beer and call it a night. It's a day four, Tuesday of our ride in Utah. And yesterday we did uh, just a regular visitor Canyonlands routes and all the good stuff around it. Uh, we visited Moab in the morning and so on. We're staying here at Gold, Gold Bar Campground. That's where we stopped for the night after we rode down uh, the Shaffer, or the, the Potash Road uh, from the, the Canyon Visitor Center. And today uh, we will be doing the White Rim Trail. So that's, uh, I think it's about 115 miles to go around it. So that's the plan for today. It's gonna be a full day and most likely we will stay down in the canyon for the night uh, as we reserve the site there.
That's a workout. All the suck me sideways. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I'm tired for today. I gotta say I'm freaking tired. Because now I would say that this is technical a little bit. <laughs> Until now that was a piece of cake. Go, 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 go. All right, so we had another mishap. Marius wiped out and broke the chain, but thankfully he had a spare link that we were able to temporarily fix it. I wish I would have filmed on that, but unfortunately you gotta help sometimes and the camera stays behind. Oh, the wind picked up like crazy here now. Oh, this is getting dark. Stop. Stop. Kufer. This is a workout for the, for the end of the day. Holy sh... What happened? was uh, approaching we got caught in a heavy rain uh, up in a canyon everything is soaked um, it was a tough experience it was just pouring here and we managed to set up the tents but uh, everything is soaked 
I couldn't do any recording at that time because everything the, the rain was pouring. Uh, we were fighting with the bikes, uh, trying to get up the hill. Um, couldn't do it because the water was flowing down the mountains. So now we are stuck here, yeah, on a white rim in Utah Canyonlands. And I'm not sure how we're gonna really get out of here yet. And we were trying to climb up that hill there. The water was just pouring down and uh, many rocks and uh, we couldn't do it. We didn't make it to our designated campsite where we supposed to stay for, stay for a night. And we had to look for alternative, uh, which was here, down on the bottom of that approach. So today uh, we have two options. Um, one option would be coming back down. That's probably about 80 miles in that wet dirt second option there's no way to ride the bike up there but there's five of us we may want to try push them up on a gear one by one and go around that big hill i think that's the last uh, steep approach that we're gonna have to deal with uh, before we get out of this canyon some spots are pretty tough uh, on the big adventure bikes uh, that are fully loaded we're riding with all the gear and everything. Good thing we have a gear, because in a situation like this, uh, we have a place uh, for shelter. The sun is just rising, and it is uh, 6.30 in the morning. The guys are still sleeping. I'm an early bird always. But the boots were under the tent, uh, but he crawled in there. Uh, another thing to point out, just check your boots uh, before you put them on when you're camping in a desert. There might be a snake, there might be a scorpion, or there might be a critter like this one. <coughs> all right, guys, we are all packed up, still everything wet, and we will be attempting again to get up there. Not easy task, not easy task, but uh, either it's that, and 30 miles to the end of it, or turn around and 80 miles. So it is a huge challenge um, to tackle all this. It stopped raining, that's the main thing, but uh, the ground is still soaked. The boys are still generating all the power <laughs> and still packing. So the team made an executive decision and uh, we decided to turn around because uh, we, we met some uh, guys on a bicycles and they said that it gets even rougher at the top uh, as after the rain uh, it's not advised uh, to go there so at this point uh, we have about i don't know 40 miles or more to get back we are very low on water uh, that's the worst part, uh, as we have no water. Now this is the new sand.
Well, that road is definitely not advised for uh, novice riders. There's so many different types of terrain. There's uh, like the beginning part of it was a piece of cake, but once you get deeper here, that's where the challenge comes. This is just amazing. Seriously, wow. Today we are heading to, towards Mexican Hat uh, to Valley of the Gods and possibly Maki Dagway Highway. Uh, that's the plan for today. Um, yesterday was an awesome day. Uh, we had a quick return from the canyon, stuck up on water, then uh, we grabbed something to eat and uh, stayed here at this motel. Uh, it's pretty reasonable. So this is a hole in a rock. We have, we have been here three years ago and came back this time again and the guys went to check it out inside what's going on. Basically a guy made a full-size house inside this big rock, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, unfortunately you can film inside, the, there is no, it's too dark. So I'm not gonna even bother to attempt it because I tried it last time and it was a no-go. Anyway, so we're just stopping here for a few minutes and uh, taking a break uh, before we go further. Check this out, how cool is that made? Out of wrenches and locks and spark plugs. Just about anything, hammers. And the bull again is made out of a bunch of wrenches and hooks and uh, gauges and pliers, you name it, you'll find it here. Some springs, even chains. So we just have arrived at uh, Needles Overlook. It's a magnificent canyon. We'll get there in a second. It doesn't even look like it's on Earth. It's so 
different. Up here is like on Mars. For sure that on a video the height is not justified but it is high up and as you see those needles there they drop down even further the drop of here it's more visible but again camera is not justifying the actual height it is hot in here wearing those riding pants and the boots doesn't help everything is worthwhile to be here and to explore this at least a little bit like what better would be to dress up in the shorts and at least some runners or a hiking boot. It is the red planet Mars. We are on the way to we're towards Valley of the Gods uh, and we'll be approaching it from the top uh, over Moki Dagway Highway but we still got quite a bit to go. There's the guy that's in the rush. We are on the way to Moki Dagway Highway or Byway, Roadway, whatever you want to call that and down to Valley of the Gods from there There is Bogdan, Warsaw, Bebek, Warsaw, Poland, June 24 Alright, there we go, so it begins There's the truck still there that's wiped out there. So we just got down from Moki Dagway and turning onto Valley of the Gods right there. just stunning there's a reason why they call it valley of the gods It is quite dry everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
towards Mexican hat. Today we are waking up in beautiful Mexican hut and we found a campsite um, right here on a river and behind we are here in this big canyon which is just spectacular um, the Sun is just rising it's uh, shortly like uh, around six o'clock or so well it's not just rising but it's still not high up so it's uh, manageable it's not too hot and uh, we met some people out there uh, for they're traveling from Mexico and they're going all the way um, to Alaska from Veracruz in Mexico so today I'll be starting heading back home slowly and I will separate uh, from the boys uh, and my friends here uh, because they want to stay longer and uh, spend more time out here unfortunately um, my wife uh, sprained her knee and uh, she needs some assistance because she's barely walking and I'm out here uh, 2,000 kilometers away from home so I will be trying to get home in the next uh, three days uh, there's still a little bit more to see on the way uh, anyway, so yeah, those Mexican pe people just give us a great cup of Mexican coffee and So that's uh, that's the good start in the morning great cup of coffee and uh, nice people that we met last night So let's uh, get out on the bike and I'll see you guys on the road. I Just filled up the bike And ready to go and uh, I'm heading right now today to Salina, Utah hopefully it's gonna route me through the parks and I have about 282 miles to cover to Salina I don't know if I'm gonna go any further after that or not uh, we'll see and uh, meet with my other friend Mariusz since I separated with those guys because they continuing a little bit further on this uh, ride or on this trip they have a little bit more time and me and Marius, uh, the, basically we're starting heading back north uh, towards home. Passing on the left, Valley of the Gods again. Really beautiful place. Everything here is just breathtaking. Yeah, I was just passing by through this little town. It's called Bluff. It's a very historic, historic site. There's a little fort in there I just passed uh, on the way here. And this is a famous twin rocks that are standing just behind me. Uh, like, uh, like I said, uh, I drove about uh, 30 miles and again a different scenery. So if I look around, it looks totally different. That's a pretty cool looking mountains with the rocks just sticking above it those little towns here uh, they're mostly home to first nation navajo
I'm heading right now towards Tori and then I'll get another stretch going towards Salina. By the looks of it, uh, the, there is a bridge over the river, so hopefully my problem is solved at this point. I just uh, got to talk to some people from Germany uh, here in the camper, and uh, they told me that there should be a bridge. They're also traveling, and uh, yeah, it looks on the map, sort of, but um, the only problem is that when I was crossing onto this road, it was saying that the ferry is closed, so that's where I get kind of uh, a little bit of freaked out. And uh, yeah, I should be able to make it to the gas station at this point. So it's a beautiful, beautiful scenery, as you see. Uh, the landscape here is out of this world. It's like uh, being in a Western movie or a Marlboro uh, little commercial. Uh, spectacular, spectacular sceneries. Thirty-two degrees Celsius right now, and uh, I'm about at uh, seven thousand six hundred feet above the sea level. Unbelievable landscape! Whoa! And that's the section that had me worried for a bit. Colorado River. A slow down here. And we'll have a look. Wow, that's quite deep. Down. Cut out to get through, and another one in front of me. Wow, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's 36 degrees at this moment and it is 1.30 p.m.
We have stayed also at this campsite three years ago. It was a pretty nice location. Huh? Salina is uh, 39 miles. Hey guys, after the long search, we managed to find a free campsite again. No charge, beautiful area just on the other side of the big mountains just here behind me so overall it was a very good riding that day extremely hot i'm uh, i'm just exhausted uh, i went uh, through a couple of beautiful national parks uh, with some amazing amazing sceneries that were changing over and over again from one uh, scenery to another a landscape and there was so much variety and uh, at the end of the day um, did the, my quick grocery shopping and uh, topped up the bike with fuel and now it's time to set up the tents uh, it is already seven o'clock so i started riding pretty much around eight o'clock in the morning so it was full day of riding uh, a lot of miles and uh, yeah we're here and i met up again with mariusz i left the other guys behind since we're heading back towards calgary slowly and most likely tomorrow uh, we will hit the salt lake flats some sausages with cheese doesn't get any better and life is good good morning internet it's uh Another morning, just uh, two and a half hours south of Salt Lake City. Uh, today uh, we just woke up and it's seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, we slept a little bit longer because uh, we are exhausted after yesterday's heat, riding in the heat. And uh, today plan is to go to Bonneville Salt Flats uh, by Salt Lake City. And then from there, um, keep heading north towards Canada. Alright, so we are ready, all packed up, and it is uh, 10 o'clock, not with the plan, but that's what it is. Heading west, another 60 miles to go to Salt Lake Flats, Bonneville. Yeah, we must be getting closer, like you can see the white stuff on the sides now. Exit number four to exit on a Bonneville Speedway. So we must be near the end of Utah since we have exit four. 
exact uh, destination is a 5.4 mile from here. Welcome to your public land. That's the place. Salt Flats Speedway. Hey guys, so we finally made it to uh, Bonneville uh, Salt Flats uh, racing uh, truck. This is just fabulous to ride on this stuff. Uh, you can give her as much as you want and uh, the grip uh, here is uh, out of this world. So you can't even uh, slide on that stuff technically. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> 30, 35, 36 degrees Celsius, but it's crazy. What an experience. No worries. <laughs> Where can you go maximum speed of your bike? Nowhere. And it doesn't slide at all. All right, guys, so we got uh, last four miles in Utah. Just crossed the back into Utah again and there's no other services good thing we filled up because uh, next service is in 93 miles and we are heading right now on utah state uh, 30 highway it's turning out to be again a long day it is uh, eight o'clock pm already and we are in the middle of nowhere, no campsites, no nothing. So we continue going until we find something. Don't have much of a choice. So we have managed to find a campsite. Uh, now, the only question is if there is any uh, rooms, uh, any sites available. All right, so. This is it, that will be it for today. Perfect. And we are here, right on some kind of a lake. Awesome. So the ride was long today. Uh, we have made it to uh, Kurlu National Grasslands. That's where we will be staying for a night. The sunset, the sunset is just in front of me and you can still see a little bit of a reflection in the background. So there's a lake on the left, I'll show you in a second. For a brewski, that's a step number one before I even gonna start setting up the tent. And that's the area that we will be camping on. We have a picnic table, I think that's the first campsite that we have with the picnic table. No, we had one in uh, Moab. We are already in Idaho and that's the pond that I was talking about earlier. It's a beautiful sunset still showing in the background. So time to set up the tent and grab a bite to eat.
today we just woke up on the campsite again beautiful day sun is shining we're getting some breakfast and coffee ready before hitting the road and that will be the last leg of this trip we're leaving Curly National Forest a little bit of a trouble we're leaving the campsite uh, I left the ignition on for a while and I couldn't start the bike uh, we were lucky enough that the host uh, of the campground uh, had a golf cart and uh, he gave me a pool start uh, another thing is I always carry a rope with me uh, that came really handy this time we got about uh, 2.5 miles to get to I-86 so leaving Idaho and entering Montana we just pulled over for another fuel in Lima Montana oh, we have even the elevation here which is 6273 feet and the scenery has changed it's looking more like home uh, similar type of mountains uh, mountain range Marius had to adjust his crappy chain that he bought he has to basically adjust the chain every 600 kilometers or so and the sprocket is already shot we did change it before the trip but he bought Chinese crap that doesn't work and uh, it's just ridiculous that, that sprockets that he has in a chain he's gonna get home and uh, he has to get a better stuff i told him to get a did and he's got some chinese knockoff my butt is sore already every day is being a in a saddle for so many days every so many day hours every day every day is a I, I must have put I in have pro to probably to close to 5,000 kilometers by now there's Where not much to show you guys today on the road except the scenery that I see from the interstate <laughs> every day another moan every day is a gallows I can feel it in the bone I'm starts to drizzle a little bit as expected but it's a nice breeze definitely not that heat that was just pounding my wife loves that heat but for me uh, it's a little bit of a story Just had a bite to eat uh, at Butte, Montana. As you make the bed, so we must lie. No one knows where the life force flows. Time to kill those chicken strips. No one knows where the next wind blows. Oh, I know. Is oh, the sun is setting. I'll follow you. On my left, and it's uh, sh shining right in my Every eyes. Day it's a mouth bite. Like a wing clipped kite floating in a boat, I'll go where the north winds blow. 
that bridge location here is fantastic. And is it your breath that I feel cause a chill to my neck? Do you cause me to kneel, feeling I'm just a speck? Good, good yourself. Yeah, I'll take your time. Another day, the last day, getting back home. Last night uh, we actually managed to push from Utah all the way to Canadian border and we set up the camp here in the Milk River River for the night. Uh, so basically we got here around uh, two o'clock at night. Uh, it was a super long ride. Uh, we put over a thousand uh, kilometers in that day. Um, got through the customs, no problem. And now we are back on Canadian soil. It was an awesome trip, awesome, awesome trip. So much that we have seen on the way and uh, mishaps and awesome adventure. And now it's time to go home to the families and spend some time with the families after this uh, absence uh, from our country and our homes. So if you like the content on this channel, don't forget to subscribe like comment below and uh, browse uh, through the content from this trip uh, there's gonna be probably quite a few episodes that uh, i will release uh, as, uh, one after another if you just caught on this one started from the beginning so you follow the ride from calgary to utah and back and uh, we'll share the adventure with you guys and all the sceneries that we had along the way. A couple of kilometers uh, before I get home, uh, to be exact, 92 kilometers left. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.